Hey, hey, this is Ronnie. This has nothing to do with boats, but <laughs> you hear this little motor running? This is a little beater boob. 440,000 mile Kia car that I just take care of. Yeah, it's a little dirty because it's still a winter. Uh, I got the oil leak fixed on the pick em up right there. Back, yeah, no problems with that where it blew out when it was 30 below that gasket. My patch fixed it. Saved me eight hours of time. And you know, if you would have took it to a shop, it would have been 600 bucks to replace that freaking timing cover. Uh, rubber gasket. Yep, my patch worked. Now, then after I got that working, then my little Kia car decided to start losing antifreeze. Especially when it was running, okay? <laughs> I'm going to turn this thing off, but listen to that motor. There's an exhaust leak over here. You hear that motor? That's 440,000. That's what you can do with a Kia. If you take care of it, you change the timing belt and stuff when you're supposed to and just maintain it, change your oil. Look at that. Not jumping, not shuttered. 440,000 miles. But here's the kicker. I got to turn it off. Uh, yeah. Oh, where is it at? Oh, excuse wherever I'm pointing. Okay. I got dual cooling fans, the AC still works, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, this thing decided it was going to start leaking antifreeze, and I, I put a, a uh, don't ever buy Conatec timing belts, period, uh, it, uh, let's see, probably 20,000 miles ago, had jack up the motor, take all this stuff out, raise up the motor, pull the wheels off. I made a video how to change the timing belt on a Kia, okay? And I did the whole kit with the rollers and everything and replaced the water pump right there. That's the water pump. Yeah, since then, it uh, looks like a cam seal up here is starting to seep a little, but it's not hurting nothing. But all of a sudden, uh, I had to change the heater uh you know 30 below I, I got a lower radiator hose heater on this car i can plug it in when it was 30 below at work you know up to 15 below because i got a semi plug in and i gotta run this plugged in and then you move the semi you put your car right beside it, you use that extension cord and plug in the hey cat get out of here See that little weasel crawling? Get out of here, cat! You know better. Get out! Oh, I'm going to have to chase that cat. You know what works to get cats out of a garage? If you got an air compressor like I got that'll do body work, you blast them with the air hose. Right up their snoot. Get out of here. Go on. You know better. Go on. Ow. Piss on you. I already fed it. Yeah. Goodbye. You know better, asshole. You cross that line, they know not to cross that black line. This is the only one that ain't got locked in here yet. And then they tear up stuff and they do stuff like this overnight. And they just stay out of here. Okay, where was I? Smoke my cigarette. Yeah, uh, we placed it with a Conatec whole kit. It lasted about 9,000 miles. Luckily, this is an interference engine. And uh, luckily, it broke right when I was pumping the stop sign. The belt just snapped. Contatec is junk. Don't buy anything from Contatec, period. So I went and had to tear it apart again, which is like a seven hour job without a car lift, which I don't have. All right, I'll throw that away now. I got four and a half inches of rain here in the last day and a half. I just checked. Woo, that's a lot. It's soggy. Okay, where was I? Okay, that's the water pump. Well, I had a drippy drippy, and I thought after I changed that heater, low radiator hose heater, because there ain't nowhere to put a block heater on these Korean ones. Uh, and it works great. 
when it started when it was 15 below, I fucked in, no problem. I thought I had a antifreeze leak, and there's regular snap clamps around down there, if you can see, and then I put a hose clamp around the other edge, and I still had an antifreeze leak. And, like, well, all at the same time, you know, like, well, it had to be the hose. Well, no, guess what? I crawled underneath here. Uh... Underneath the look of this water pump, water pumps have a weep hole, okay? They're supposed to drip, just seep a little bit out because they got ceramic seals. Yeah, okay. It's just all technical, but yeah. Well, guess what? The gate water pump, after I tore, I had to tear it apart at 12,000 miles for a broken, broken contact freaking belt in the whole pulley kit I installed after it wasn't even leaking 400,000 miles plus a little bit the Kia water pump I took out and said it's probably gonna fail and you have to take all the stuff and all the pulleys everything out so I had it all up I said okay I'll put in a brand new Gates water pump Gates belts and hoses are awesome okay top of the line Never had a problem. Conatech junk. I've had enough trouble Conatech belts. Never buy a Conatech belt. Ever. But Gates is top of the line stuff with their belts and hoses and the odd. And you can get a Gates water pump. So I put a Gates water pump in. Guess what? After the Conatech uh, timing belt broke and didn't shatter and scatter my whole motor, luckily, uh, I replaced the timing belt with a Gates Gator Grip timing belt. Yeah. It's got like a Kevlar and stuff in it. It'll run 70,000. Well, after I did that, still had the Gates original water pump from 12,000 miles is all. Oh, and then my heater, block heater went out. And I'm like, okay, so I fixed that, and I thought I had an antifreeze leak from some of the clamps or something down in here. Well, guess what? It kept dripping and dripping. Ah, yeah, it's going to be fun. Here, here's a poor man's creeper. I ain't going to get my creeper out, but I ain't going to lay in the mud in the water in my garage. It's halfway dried out, but yeah. Okay. I had a antifreeze drip. I thought it was that radiator hose right down there where I'm pointing at with a clamp. From when I changed the, the not a block heater, because that goes in the block, but on here you can't do that, so you got to use a lower radiator hose heater. When it's 30 below, it starts when you plug it in outside. Okay, I had an antifreeze leak. Drip, 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 drip. No big deal, Okay. Just here and there, I'm like, okay, I'll put a hose clamp. Well, it kept dripping. Well, Saturday, I was still losing water. I'm like, come on, this can't be leaking here. So then I crawled under. Uh, <laughs> here. Uh, I said, I don't have, have a lift, but yeah, up under there somewhere. Yeah, there's a water pump, and there's a seat pole, but I don't think you'll be able to see it. They're supposed to seep a little antifreeze. That's a con game at garages. Ah, where am I looking here? Where's the pulley? There, that, yeah, that pulley's a water pump. Right here, underneath it. They're, they're made with, they're called a weep hole. They're supposed to weep a little bit of antifreeze. Just barely anything, okay? So it lubricates the seals and the bearing. They're made that way. And, and a con artist at a shop will say hey yeah and they got it up on the stand and, yeah your water pump's leaking you see that we it, it's yeah it's got that hole underneath made to drain antifreeze up there somewhere i can't tell what i'm looking at because i can't get my head in her because i ain't got it even up on jack stands but they'll tell you hey that wee pole that that it's got seeping antifreeze your water pump shot well no it's not it's supposed to do that but what mine was doing, uh, really, uh, <laughs> what my water pump just started doing, uh, not weeping, not just seeping a little line, I had a freeze that 
Don't matter what it's supposed to, okay? This is going, while it's running, it's going drip, 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 drip. That fast, okay? That, now that's bad. But that doesn't mean the bearings are out in a water pump. That means the seal could just be bad, okay? And I didn't want to play with it, and I don't really want to tear all this apart. So I figured, what the heck? It worked on the big semi at work. Uh, I had some Conklin dyke. Not bull dyke, just dyke. Like lesbian dyke, bull dyke. Yeah. It's, it's basically a silicon. It's not the same as um, Bars Leaks. Bars Leaks is more of a copper base that will melt in antifreeze and not plug anything up at about... 200 degrees and it will go and once it hits air it seals up um conklin and like your head gasket sealers and stuff if you read the fine print don't do this if you don't have just the antifreeze leak if you got a head gasket or something out but this stuff works it, it works okay if you have any antifreeze getting into your oil, if you're losing antifreeze but it's getting into your engine oil, do not put any additives in it because that radiator sealer stuff will get in the water part and then it will get into the oil and then it's like liquid glass and it will uh, get in the oil that's supposed to lubricate the bearings. And it will turn to glass, and it will destroy your whole engine. So don't do that. <laughs> if if, if you, you got to make sure you're not getting any antifreeze into your engine oil, okay? And I double-checked and triple-checked, and I'm not. And I was losing, you know, a pint a day. But it's drip, 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 drip. And I'm like, well, before I tear it all apart, I figured, well, I'll go pour in that uh, Conklin Dyke because it's liquid glass like a head gasket sealer don't say nothing about fixing water pump seals but they're ceramic so i figured what's it gonna hurt because it was dripping all over i was gonna have to pull this all apart we'll see how long but here's a kicker you gotta mix it i don't have the little it's a one pint bottle conklin dyke napa sells it you gotta mix it up with antifreeze otherwise it's kind of thick and chunky because it's basically liquid silicon glass that will melt at 200 degrees okay and i'm like ah, well i'll let it leak out till it ain't getting hot so then i took off the radiator cap this is what it looks like when it dried on here because <laughs> a little flooded over because i overran it but i mixed that pint with about a quart of antifreeze but I didn't want to run it out because it has an overflow tank. So that's where you get into tricks about how much and what it's going to do and what do you need. But anyway, to make a long story short, I had it figured low enough on antifreeze where it wasn't getting hot and wasn't going to hurt my motor. So I had that a little jug of the one pint of Conklin Dyke that's made for two gallons cooling system. And this is a just shy of two gallons, and I mixed it with about a quart of antifreeze, and I left it in the back seat on the floor. So when it was low enough, and I shut it off and looked at it, it wasn't sucking anything out of there because there's a vacuum leak, so it's not going to suck past here because it's under pressure. <laughs> okay, that's all physics. All right, but anyway, so I, it was low enough I could put in almost the quart and a half of antifreeze and that conklin dyke i took the cap off never do that when it's hot but this is hot but check it out yeah okay i took the cap off poured it in so it all went in not in the tank not the add-on cooler tank right directly in the radiator i know the new ones you got to put them in the freaking side tank okay but that, then, then you got to do it, but mix it up with some antifreeze so it can flow. And then I, uh, I poured it in there, and then I put the cap on, and this is a locked pressurized position. 
this is still on, but no pressure. And then you got to push it down and take it off, see? That's how they work. All right? So I just put it on there, and I turn it to the first click where it's not under pressure because it's silicon glass, basically a ceramic that will seal uh, leaks in the radiators and aluminum wherever it is warm, and then it hits air, it turns into... Uh, really solid, basically, glass, okay? But that's why you don't want it in your engine oil, because when it gets the heat, it's going to put glass instead of oil around your crankshaft and take every bearing out and lock your motor up. Do not ever use any radiator additive or head gasket additive if you're getting antifreeze into your engine oil. Do not do it! Otherwise, these things... All these other products, you know, some are different for radiators are better. Uh, for radiators, even though blown out aluminum junkers, I like bars leaks. But for sealing something like a water pump that it's not even standard can do. I said, this Conklin Dyke, if you get it shook up and mixed up with some antifreeze, let it run low enough. And then I drove it with the cap loose, so there's no pressure. So once that's warmed up at 190 degrees or 200 degrees the water is seeping past the ceramic seals in the water pump okay it's hitting air once air hits it it sets up like glass super smooth silicon glass and fills the gap i did not have the cap under pressure, I had it loose, so, you know, okay, and then I drove it 15 miles that way, and it was already, the engine was already warmed up, so then, after I drove 15 miles, then I went and pushed the cap all the way down, because if you're under pressure right away, it's going to blow all that silicon in that additive right past the leak, and it's not going to seal it. Okay, I was not cooking, it's cold out, it's 36 degrees, even though I'm pulling in the mud gravel roast. After 50 minutes of the cap just loose sitting on there, then I tightened it full pressure, and then I got it in the really soggy gravel roads and made it get really hot. But the fan kicked on and off and on and off like it's supposed to, but I was making sure I was getting as warm as possible. So then, if the silicone did start building, now under pressure, but more heat, it's going to force in the smaller areas. And I just showed you, there ain't no damn drip. <laughs> I didn't know if it would work or not, but I looked up all the specs on how these work. Because uh, I found out it was water pump leaking. But it's just a minor fix till it gets warm, and I got time. I'm going to have to take... All the front, all this stuff off, jack up the motor, take tires off, blah, blah, timing belts, all that again, and replace the water pump. After about maybe, I don't think it's got 14,000 miles on it. Do not buy a Gates water pump. <clears throat> Their belts, hoses, awesome. Do not buy Contatec, nothing. Okay, <laughs> but there you go. But if you're gonna do that, if you're getting any antifreeze into your oil, do not use any head sealant, anything aftermarket, off the shelf, AutoZone, wherever. On, do not because if it's getting antifreeze and you're just losing antifreeze, okay, that'll seal again. But if you're getting antifreeze into your oil, that stuff's going to set up like glass and then the oil's not, and it's going to be on it, and it's going to totally take out. It will lock up. Your motor will find you, shut it off, and then you go to start it once it's cooled off. It's going to go, cut, cut, when you turn the key, and, and nothing. It's going to be totally locked up, seized up with glass, metal to all the bearings, and it's got not going anywhere. So make sure you're not getting any antifreeze into your engine off. Before you attempt any of this, okay? Uh, Scotty Kilmer, look him up on YouTube. 
He's been doing this stuff. He's like me. He's a little bit older than me, old school, and got computer stuff, and just work with the old stuff. He'll show you how to do it. Yeah, but what to check for. But, yeah, make sure you're not getting any antifreeze into your engine oil before you ever put any sealant for a head gasket. For, it, there, you know, there are temporary fix. And now, if this bearing, I grabbed it, I loosened the belt and grabbed the pulley and wiggled it, it don't wiggle. So I know it's just a seal. If it's got a wiggle, it's definitely got to come out right now because that whole thing can explode and take off the front half of this uh, motor. <laughs> so you, you got to know what you're doing. But it's working. There's no drip. I crawled on and I showed you. No drip. But... Uh, we'll see. It's temporary fix. I'm going to have to, when I find time, <sighs> I'm going to have to take all that apart. You know, that's, you know, without a lift for a car, it's an eight hour job start to finish. And I've done it, changed timing belts and everything like three times. One, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's really tight. It ain't no fun, but. Yeah, you, you'd think a oh, gauge water pump would last more than 15,000 miles because their hoses and belts are awesome. But yeah, don't buy a gauge water pump. Don't buy a Contatec or Continental anything. <laughs> okay? Because I have nothing problem with them. And they are manufactured. Some of their hoses and stuff are manufactured in Norfolk, Nebraska. Oh, in the city where I work. Junk. Do not, do not touch them. Don't touch their tires. Don't touch Continental tires. Anything with rubber, belts, nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. But, yeah, just letting you know. Uh, one thing goes good. Another thing goes good. Something else goes bad. But, yeah, I sure think that a Gates water pump would last more than fourteen or 15,000 miles. But it just... Apparently, I don't. I said it's not the shaft in the main bearing. It's a ceramic bearing with a weird ceramic seal, and apparently a ceramic seal is designed. It's supposed to last a year. It's been a year and about, you know, let's see, a year and eight months. I read all this stuff down on a notebook when I turned everything out. About a year and eight months. Yeah, warranty by a year, but yeah, you just replace the water pump, and then no labor, nothing. Well. If it fails in a year, or why the hell would I buy your shit again and even get another one and put it on? The original one lasted 400,000 miles, but they're about 160 bucks compared to 65 for the gates. But yeah, I'm going to look to see on eBay if I can find a new old stock original Kia water pump. It'll run another 400,000 miles. There you go. But yeah, <laughs> peace, love. I'm holding my phone with my right hand, you know, it's something different. I'm ambidextrous, I can do it all. Love, have a heart. Take care. Be cool. But yeah, some things work, some things are perfect, and then some goes right, some goes bad. But do not ever add any antifreeze radiator sealant to an engine if you're getting any type of engine coolant into the engine oil okay don't you're you're, you're gonna you're gonna destroy your whole motor just pay the five six hundred seven hundred bucks to fix it instead of three or four thousand to rebuild or, or find another motor or use one. don't do it always check your dipstick if it's going up, your antifreeze is going down, you got to add it, and your engine oil is going up, that means your antifreeze is going into your engine oil. Don't use any of these additives for that, okay? All right, man. I love you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You didn't know. I can use chopsticks left-handed and right-handed, too. And 95% of the people in China cannot do that. If they're left-handed or right-handed, they can't do it with both hands. I can freak them out. That was a cool, fun trick at the, when we were out eating with the family and stuff. And go, hey, look at this. Here's my chopsticks. And I ain't real good with chopsticks. I was getting pretty good. But there you go. I'm ambidextrous, yeah. Have a heart. Have a heart. Love. Peace. All good. And now I can do it with this one, too. Yeah, cool breeze.
Have a heart. Peace. Have a heart. Yeah. There you go. I'm ambidextrous. I can do anything with both hands. Uh, kind of like having two ladies at once when I'm really bored at night. <laughs> I had to say that. I got to make some humor somewhere. And, and it's not dirty or nothing. All right, I'll be back. I love you. I will return. I will see you later. All right. Thanks. But yeah, pay attention if you're getting... Uh, antifreeze into your engine oil. Do not use any coolant additives whatsoever because you will probably take out your whole engine to save, you know, I don't know, radiator or whatever, water pump, you know, $800, $900 on the newer vehicles. Even this 98, don't do it because you're not going to, you're going to scatter it. If, if you're getting antifreeze coolant into your engine oil, you have to make sure positively you are on, you are not before you put any kind of radiator sealant in these vehicles, okay? And they do work. We'll see how long it lasts. It was just to get me by to slow down a leak, and it's not dripping at all. But, you know, it says just put it in with some and then put it under pressure, put the cap on. Yeah, I leave it no pressure so it moves slow and then it hits the air under heat and it turns a glass. And instead of just blowing it past, because it was leaking really bad. But anyway, I'll fix it right this spring when I got time, and it's not 32 degrees, 34 degrees. And I just had four and a half inches of rain the last day and a half, and four inches of snow that's gone now because it's 34 degrees. Yeah, it's soggy. But yeah, the old key is still going. But yeah, don't buy Gates water pump. Belts and hose are awesome. Don't buy anything from Continent or Continental, even their damn tires. All right? My point of view only, so they can't come after me and sue me and all that crap. But it's what I've used, and I know. Don't buy Contatec, Continental, anything. Gates, hoses, belts, awesome. Do not buy a Gates water pump. <clears throat> Brand new. Not even. <laughs> don't do it. 14,000 miles. <laughs> My original Q1. <laughs> yeah, I, I think like about 110 bucks from Kia. 400,000 miles. Gates, if you go to buy it just online from Gates, it's like 90 bucks. What? For 14,000 miles? Mm, fail! Fail, fail. Not like my long tail boat I'm making. Ooh, and my outboard. That's oh, going to be awesome. I'm not going to fail. And like I said, I don't make stuff to fail. But it did make the uh, one year warranty for Gates. <laughs> it made it uh, three more months past. And then, <clears throat> yeah, screw that. I don't know a good water pump manufacturer right now. So I'll let you know. Yeah, at least for a kid. <laughs> oh, what happened to good old days like the old Ford when the water pump took a dump? You had to take the belts off and four bolts, and it came right off the front. And, and you just put the new one on and a couple of gaskets, and away you go. And you had room to work. That's why I love my old. You know, it's an antique now. I could put antique plates on that. Really? That is an antique. So... I guess so am I, because <laughs> I grew up with them. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, life's good. Love y'all. I'll be back. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Be happy. Find something good, all right? There's beauty in every day, even if it's crummy and foggy and junk and cold. It's worked for a little bit. <laughs> Give me time to get my part. All right, love y'all. I'll be back. I will see you later. I never say goodbye because that seems too damn final to me because uh, that's like the other side to me. <laughs> and I like hanging out here for right now. So I'll see you later. I love y'all, man. Thank you. But there's some true information. Do not use any uh, coolant additive sealers if you're getting antifreeze into your engine oil. That's a big no-no. And it will take care and wipe out your engine. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Love you all, man. Uh, take care. And don't count.